my whole family and I were, we're all uh, very, very excited about that. You know, Mike, if I may, is, is that possible? I want to recount, you know, an incident that happened with me and my family a few weeks ago with the Sox. Really incredible. Uh, for the 4th, on Independence Day, 4th of July, you know, Judy and I, we take the kids up every year to Manchester. Uh, it's a good place, you know, it's, it's nice, there's lots of little lakes around. We went up to Lake uh, Susquehanna. Uh, it's near Winnipesaukee, not far, but this is a lot better. There's not many people around, uh, it's not very crowded. Some people, you know, I don't know, they avoid it, they call it a swamp. I don't know what that is, but kitties love it. They put their feet in the water, they play the wiffle ball, they play the horseshoes, you know, we, we make potato salad, we grill the dogs, family franks, of course. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a good place for the, for the fourth, good fireworks. And, uh, but, you know, we, we don't actually stay for the fireworks on the fourth. We leave about five in the morning. You know, the traffic is just, oh. it's awful. You gotta beat the traffic. It's brutal. So we leave about five in the morning to get back to Massachusetts. You know, it's, it's tradition. Uh, ordinarily, we stop by that morning. <clears throat> Outside of Manchester is the, is the pancake barn. Great pancakes, wonderful. You know, we go every year. This year, Judy and I, the two kids, we got a usual booth in the back. We sit down, looking at the menus. Corner of my eye, who do I see? Guess who I see at the corner of my eye in the pancake barn? I would guess uh, uh, Carlos Quintana. No, but I should be so lucky. Great prospect he was. Bernie Cabo. Bernie Cabo. Bernie freaking Cabo. All right? A legend. The hat. The soul of that 1976 team. Okay? A man who deserves the utmost respect. Okay? I'm sitting down, looking at the menu, and I see Bernie Cabo. And you know what he's doing? He is paying the bill. That restaurant had the audacity, the nerve, to charge Bernie Cabo. The gall. To charge him. Who charges Bernie Cabo? The heart of that 76 team. Kids now, they got no respect. All right? They got these two rings now, 2004, 2007. That was a gift back then, that team. Dewey, Yastrzemski, Lynn, all they, of those. They don't make them like that anymore. Yeah, absolutely. They're solid, solid players. So what'd you do? So you know what I did? I stood up. Because I says to myself, you know, he might not be the veteran of a foreign battle, a foreign war, but he's a veteran. Of that 76 team. Sure is. The heart and the pride of that team. The 76 team. So I stood up, put my napkin and menu down, and I started clapping. And I started clapping. And I clapped for about a good three minutes. Good for you. You know? And, uh, you know, he... Uh, what did he do? Well, you know, that's the thing. He, he ended up leaving. But, uh, well, you know, he gets, a, he gets a lot of fans. He probably gets that, at, you know, everywhere he goes. It, he's getting... That. Exactly. You know, he can't steal with the fame. And, you know, that's why he's there so early in the morning, avoid the crowd. So, you know, I do apologize for infringing on his privacy, but it had to be done. It was our Independence Day. It was the Foth. Nobody stood up and did nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, and, and everybody sort of stared at me for a while, but I think it's because they got the point. They got the message, and I think my kids got the point. And that's, you know, that, that, that's the point of this whole thing. Respect the veterans. You know, it's, it's an important lesson for, for the kids to learn as well. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, and on behalf of uh, for myself, and also on behalf of Red Sox Nation, I want to thank you for what you did at the Pancake Barn. Oh, yes. Because that was, you know, that was a real show of, of support and of solidarity amongst the Red Sox Nation for the veterans of the, of, of, of the team. My pleasure. My pleasure. And, you know, accordingly, I was thinking about it. Probably, you know, meeting Yastrzemski's first, this goes second. You know, seeing Bernie Cabo. And, uh, you know, having our, uh, you know, our eyesight met. And uh, probably third, Mary and Judy. And the fourth, the christening of our two kids. But, you know, right up there. Right up there. Well, great. Uh, 